Hey guys, how you all doing? You are back with Sam, and what I've got for you today is some Bioshock Infinite. Now I know this game's been out since the end of March, but I've only just got around to playing it because I had, like I said, my exams and things like that, so I didn't really need another big distraction such as this game. But now I've got it, I've started playing it, and I wasn't going to bring a video because it's been out a few months, but after playing it for a few hours, I just had to because this game is absolutely incredible. Now at the end of this video, there is the giveaway for Defiance as well. Uh, so keep your ears out for that. If you watch to the end, you'll be in with a chance of winning. Now in Bioshock, it's set in 1912 and you play as Booker DeWitt and you are in complete debt. And your only hope for a clean sleigh is to go up to Columbia, which is a beautiful place in the clouds as you can see here, to try and rescue a mysterious girl who goes by the name of Elizabeth, who is imprisoned here. So uh, you basically get chucked straight in, you start off in a boat, you climb a lighthouse, jump into a chair and fly up into Columbia. And as you can see, it is beautiful. And that's one of the first things I want to talk about this game. Now I, uh, I saw a review on Amazon, mainly five stars, but I read one one star one, which I couldn't get my head around. This guy was saying that the graphics on this game are subpar and it's not really that good looking. But this, this is absolutely beautiful. This is one of the best looking games I have ever played in my entire life. It just looks absolutely wonderful. So I wanna know what you guys think. Is it just me? Or is this game ridiculously pretty? Now you arrive in Colombia, and like I said, it's, it's all this perfect little, little place in the sky. Everything's supposed to be wonderful and, and nothing ever goes wrong. And it's like this little sort of garden of Eden up in the sky, this utopia. But uh, you start to walk around, start to try and investigate, find this girl, and you start to uncover little things, little things that don't seem quite right. And uh, as the story goes on, uh, things start to become a little bit clearer that this is not the perfect place that you once thought it was. Because that wouldn't really make much of a game, would it? You're just walking around this wonderful little place, you find the girl, go home, everything's tickety-boo. Just won't make a good game. So before you know it, everything's gone completely balls up, and you are running for your life, fighting for your life with this girl as well. This is one of the cool things about it as well. You have like a melee weapon which can also attach to certain things such as these uh, monorail or gondola railings and you can just sort of fly around on these uh, which produce some pretty epic moments so yeah um everything got sort of goes tits up and suddenly you become public enemy number one and all of a sudden you're having to fight for your life and try and try and complete the mission because you want to clear your debt whatever happens so your mission is still uh, to get this girl back uh, down below so regardless of what's going off you crack on and in typical bioshock fashion uh, it gets a little bit darker now the fighting system on this is, is brilliant, it's standard first person shooter fighting, you've got some really cool weapons, because it's 1912, you've got this pistol which is a bit like a Luger, uh, you've got a, a carbine, get a cool shotgun, all that kind of stuff, and as well as that you've got these powers such as this one you can see here. Now that was called Possession, and you use this with the left trigger or L2, and I just cast that at him and it made him kill himself. It can also make him attack uh, enemies, make him an ally, you can use it to make robots allies and stuff like that. So you've got all these different powers you can have on your left hand, things like possession. You've got one that casts sort of like a load of Alfred Hitchcock, uh, sorry, Alfred Hitchcock style birds at them, which is a bit grim, but also pretty cool. One that fires sort of fireballs at them. One that throws them up in the air like a bucking bronco. So lots of different things to kill people with on this, which makes it different to any other first person shooter. You're not just running around with a gun and grenades. You know, in typical Bioshock fashion, they've got all these different little weird things you can use. And also the uh, the melee weapon you have on your left hand is absolutely brilliant as well. It's like a almost a bit like a, ch a chainsaw, but it doesn't look like a chainsaw. But you're going to see here what this thing can do. If you get close enough and get him down to enough health, you can do things like this. Absolutely brutal. So, uh, like I said, it all started off really pretty. Everything started like, oh, it's a nice little utopia. And before you know it, everything's suddenly gone really dark, and you are fighting for your life and just kicking the shit out of people. So uh, that's what makes this game so much fun. It's not just great looking, it's really fun to play as well. And uh, the story is very sort of dark and uh, it's ambiguous to start with, which is what I like. I don't like a story that's just sort of black and white. You know, you, you, have, to, you have to go and do this, then you do this. You're sort of constantly not sort of knowing what's going off, not really knowing why you're getting attacked. And sort of as it goes on, things start to develop. So it's got a brilliant story as well. I mean, I've not finished it yet. But already the story is one of the best I've seen in the game. And apparently the twist at the end is utterly mind-blowing. So uh, that's my opinion on it. 
Uh, it's probably the best game I've played so far this year, the best new release, and definitely a candidate for Game of the Year. So if you've not played it already, I definitely recommend you going up and uh, getting yourself this game. Now for the Defiance giveaway, I've got my list of subscribers right in front of me. I'm going to shut my eyes, move my mouse about, and then when I open them, hopefully I'm hovering above someone. Yes, there we go. The winner is the, the one Dark Soul one. Congratulations, you just won yourself a copy of Defiance. I will message you. Let me know what platform you want it on. Uh, so enjoy that game. So yeah, that's my verdict of Bioshock Infinite. Uh, soon I'm going to do a, a video about questions and answers as well. So any questions you guys have got for me, uh, either leave it in the comment section below or get at me on Twitter or Facebook and I'll get around to them in the video. But in the meantime, you guys take care of yourselves and I will see you soon.